Hey, this is Jessica, and I'm here with my pigs. I don't know what they think they're getting. All they did was vacuum their cage, and there's already poo. Already poo. I just did it. Abby? No. No, no, no. You too, Lily. I guess I'll give them a treat, because they think they're getting something. Dig into my treats. So I haven't made a video since my contest video, just because I was working, and then this weekend I had midnight shifts, like Friday night and Saturday night. So I'm going to give them these beet sprays, because I love them. It's hard to do with one hand. Now they're all going crazy. Crazy pigs. Three. I gotta give them one each or they're gonna fight over it. This coming. Okay, here, here, here. Okay, oh, silly. There you go. You take one. Trixie, Trixie, don't fight over it. There's more. No, don't fight. Here, here. You each get one. You always know you each get one. Here. I scared Lily with it because she walked into it. Daisy. Yeah, relax. You have your own. Over there. Stop huddling up while you're eating. This is the Timothy twist. They like these two. The weed sprays I love, as you can see. They will devour the whole thing. Like even the stick end of it. So I buy these all the time for them. If they're not too expensive. And I get them at the, my local pet store. Some reason pet value isn't so. Closing this is gonna be tricky with one hand. Anyways, this is just gonna be a haul video. So I had to go to Walmart and pet value to get groceries for them. Ugh. Sorry. That's just my food. So I had to get I had to get pellets and then I had to get vegetables for them. I was gonna show you what I got them. It was a lot to carry home because I walked. So this is their pallets. I said it before, I used the Martin Little Friends Timothy Guinea Pig pallets. Um, this size bag is the small size. They do have a bigger one, but I always just buy this size. They don't go through it that fast. Like if you're feeding your pig uh, like the one eighth of a cup or maybe even a little over that per pig, you shouldn't go through it fast. And uh, this is about $10, but I have about three coupons from Martin Mills themselves. They're manufacturer coupons for $2 off. So I paid $7.99 instead of $9.99 for this. And I have one coupon left. So my next bag will also have $2 off. So this is what I feed. Um, but if you look at the ingredients, it's basically, it's very similar to Oxbow, but cheaper. And since I'm Canadian and this is Canadian, this is made in Ontario, why not support the Canadian company? So I guess I'll show my Walmart stuff, because I didn't buy too much from Walmart, because their lettuce doesn't look good. I got, I've been, I switched over to these carrots, it's the matchstick carrots, and I love it, because I don't have to cut up the carrots. I literally, all I do is like, grab a little bunch and sprinkle it on on top of their salad. So, yeah, matchstick carrots I got. Um, cherry tomatoes, which this is also product of Canada, all the local produce is coming in. And I got a cucumber. I think I still have part of my other cucumber downstairs. And then from Too Basic. Oh, this is my, I have to show you these radishios because they're so big. It's usually hard to find radicho that looks this nice. They're huge. Look at this guy. I usually buy one, but because they look so nice, I decided to buy two and just, like, stock up on it. Obviously, you rip off, like, the first, like, leaf. As you can see, oh, that's kind of gross looking. Um, you can also, like, sprinkle it with some water, because it is a lettuce to keep it crisp. Because I find stores that sell this don't realize that. Okay, a lot of people think it's cabbage, and it's not. It is a lettuce. So they don't keep it wet. 
Like they keep it on their cold wall with the lettuces, but it doesn't, like the sprinklers don't hit it, and it probably should. So sometimes I'll sprinkle it with some water, and that will keep it nice. Especially since I have two, so it's going to last me a while. But yeah, that's for Dishio. I like it because it is low in calcium. Um, I occasionally feed endive, and I find that's higher in calcium. It's Belgiumite endive, though, not curly, and I think the Belgium is higher. And then my pigs get a little bit of um, white spots in their pee. This stuff doesn't cause that, and it just, you know, mixes it up so they're not always eating the same lettuce. Like, I don't replace the lettuce with this. What I do is I have green leaf, and then I add this in as well. And I got one bell pepper. I have one already still downstairs. I usually buy one green pepper at a time just to make sure it's fresh. There's something special about this. Usually they have really nice huge ones, but not today. And then this is two heads of green lettuce. Because their heads weren't that big, so I just took what they had. Um, I buy green leaf or red leaf. I don't ever feed them romaine. They've never actually even had romaine, at least not for me. Yeah, they might have had it from their, well, Trixie and Abby might have had it from their previous owners. Uh, sometimes I feed Boston lettuce, which is also known as bib lettuce. That's just, like, a treat. I have some of that downstairs. So this is green leaf. I wanted to buy a red leaf as well, but the red leaf looked like poop. So I got two heads because they're not that big, and I will go through it. Here's the other one. I actually had an old man, I, this is the first time I've actually had somebody mention how much produce I have in my hands. I was standing in the express aisle, and there's an old couple ahead of me, and he looks down at that I was holding just this, Ludicio, two lettuces and the green bell pepper, and he was like, you got rabbits? Because there's no way you're eating all that by yourself. And I was like, guinea pigs. And he's like, what? And I'm like, guinea pigs. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting me to actually be like, yes, I do have a pet. <laughs> but not a rabbit, guinea pigs. <laughs> so that kind of shut him up. <laughs> it was kind of funny. And even when I was picking this bell pepper, a lady was like, is it all garbage? Because I, it took me like five minutes just to find what I liked. It says I'm really picky since I'm not eating it myself. Like anything, if it has a bruise or a mark, I will not touch it. So this is basically what I buy on a weekly basis. The only thing I'm missing out of this haul is snap peas, which I have a whole like new bag of. That's why I didn't buy any. I do give them snap peas on occasion. And also, I occasionally give them fruit. Like they got pear last time. But I usually try to give them strawberries or blueberries, because strawberries and blueberries are surprisingly way less sugary than, like, apple and pear. But I occasionally buy an apple and pear, and they only get that, like, once a week. So this week they're probably... They haven't had any for a while, like, about a week they haven't had anything sweet. Snap peas are kind of sweet. Carrots have a little bit of sweetness, but not, like, a true fruit. So I get paid this week, though, so I'll probably buy strawberries for them then. They love their strawberries. And I don't feel as bad giving them berries, because it's, like I said, if you look at, like, nutritional charts, uh, they have way less sugar in them than apple and pear and everything else. This is my food haul. This is what I had to carry home. And it's Pat's birthday, and then, like, ten minutes after I come home, I see him walking behind me. And I was like, really? I, sh I should have just waited for you. We could have left together. Because he's sick. So he's sick on his birthday, and that's no fun. don't know where he is right now. I think he stayed... I told him to stay downstairs, because I was vacuuming the girls, and... That's pretty loud. When you're sick and you like have a headache, you don't want to hear the vacuum going. So yeah, that sucks. I got him some candy though. Doesn't even know yet. For his birthday, obviously he won't be eating it today. But I got him a whole bunch of like old school candy, sweet tarts and stuff. Cause he's into that. Went to the dollar store. Cause he already kind of got his birthday present on Friday. So yeah. So yeah, that's my haul of guinea pig food. And see, they're quiet now, and they've already eaten everything. There we go. So nothing too new with the guinea pigs. Flip the flippers. Pat flipped the flippers. Uh, yesterday? I don't know, when I do midnights, it screws me up. Either Friday night or yesterday. Let me switch out these pads. They're liking that cuddle cup, though, a lot. There's always poos in it, so they're sitting in it, which is cool. Oh, now they're going to fight over the little sticks that are left. What do you want? What do you want? I touched you. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. She likes to nibble. Hey, what are you, 
being bad for. She bit that the other day too. It was kind of funny. It hurts. She bites hard. So I don't really know what else to make videos about. It's like, well, I have a idea for my next video, but then after that, I don't know. So if anybody wants to, they're fighting. Well, tug or war. If so anybody has any requests about anything, go ahead and ask too. While you're at it, if you want me to make a video about a certain topic or whatever, I'll probably make a couple videos on my hamsters too. So, yeah, thanks for watching and bye bye. Where's Daisy? Bye, Daisy.